Good morning, Greater Lake Show from the WCAT TV studio. I'm your host, Ramaya Henderson. Chick fil A Leader Academy members are reminded that their next mandatory meeting will be today during all of Lunch and Learn in the CSC. Please bring your lunch with you to the meeting. Contact Mrs. Koss with any questions. Mualfa Theta is selling Pi Day t shirts in all math classes for $8 each. The sale is on from now until Thursday, February 24th. This year's colors are fuchsia pink or navy blue. If you do not have a math class but would still like to purchase a Pi Day tea, see Miss Doyle in room C12. Money is due to the time of ordering. Students who took ceramics class last semester and left projects behind are asked to come to F201 to pick them up. Any projects left will be tossed after two or more weeks. Pep Club will be having a meeting on Tuesday, March 1st in Mrs. Fry's room A4 at 7.40 a.m. New members are always welcome. We go to Jane Lacey for the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. Today, it's expected to rain with a high of 61 and a low of 47. We have more rain coming tomorrow with a high of 51 and a low of 25. On Thursday, it's expected to high of 38 and a low of 31 with a chance of snow. That's the or three-day forecast. Back to you, Ramaya. Thanks, Jaden. Anyone interested in cheerleading or mascot tryouts must attend a mandatory tryout meeting on Wednesday, March 9th at 7 p.m. in the CSC. Please bring a copy of your report card. If you have any questions, you can contact Mrs. Fry in A4 in the junior high. The Challenge Program Student of the Year competition is open until March 1st. Three students will become finalists and win $1,000. One student will then be named Student of the Year and will win $1,500. Any student in grades 10 through 12 may apply. You do not need to have earned a TCP or to enter. Visit tcpinc.org to apply. We'll be back after this message. The spring musical, Bye Bye Birdie, will hit the stage on March 4th through the 6th. The show follows the story of Albert Peterson, a panicky songwriter caught between his music career, forgotten dream of teaching, and his love for a special someone as his company's top performer, an Elvis-like singer by the name of Conrad Birdie, is drafted into the military. Colorful and lively, the Bye Bye Birdie captures the rising teen culture and the parental opposition to it in the American 1950s. Show times are 7.30 on Friday and Saturday and 2 o'clock on Sunday. Student tickets are available for $10 at lakechopedramaclub.com. There will be a Letterman's Club meeting on Tuesday. Grades 10 through 12 will meet in Lunch and Learn 1 and C106, and Grade 9 will meet in Mr. Simpson's room C112 at 1235. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here's Emma Santora with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? It's Tuesday, February 22nd, and cooking up in the main line is a toasted cheese sandwich with tomato soup and Cheez-Its. In the sandwich line, there are hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and chicken patties. In the pizza line, there's the Big Daddy Pizza and three Max Cheese Sticks. In the salad bar, there are fresh salads and deli hoagies. The soup of the day is Fiesta Taco. That's what's cooking. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Emma. Facts and Business are joining forces to offer a new course for next school year. The new course will be called Cats Customs. If you're interested in learning more about this PBL course, you can pick up an application from Mrs. Koss in F202, Mrs. Butler in C101, or from the guidance office. Students interested in taking PBL Exploring Hispanic Foods and Culture next year should see Ms. Donahue in D202, Mrs. Smith in B210 in the junior high, or Mrs. Mushnock in the guidance office for an application. We now go to Emily Sweeney for the Wildcat Sports Report. Good morning, Wildcats. Today, the girls' basketball team hosts the first round of the Whippeal playoffs as they take on Mars at 7 o'clock. Good luck, girls. Now, here's Ben Hamity with National Sports. Here is your National Sports Report for today. In the NHL, there will be an array of games showcased. At 7 p.m., the Predators will head to Sunrise, Florida to face off against the Panthers. To finish off the night, the Seattle Kraken will host the New York Islanders at 10 p.m. for an East Coast-West Coast battle. That's all for sports. Back to you. Thanks, Ben. Are you creative? Are you always coming up with ideas for new inventions? Then you need to take part in the Economic Day of Understanding on Wednesday, March 2nd at St. Vincent College. Students who choose to attend this field trip will work to develop a new ride for Idlewild, Kennywood, or Sandcastle, and then market the ride to their fellow students using the skills learned that day. 
Interested students should see Mrs. Koss in F202 for more information and to pick up a field trip form. Now, here's Ariel Tepper with Wildcat World News. Good morning, Latrobe. Today in Wildcat World News, Prince Andrew has decided on settling a sexual abuse lawsuit brought by accuser Virginia Groof by agreeing to the settlement and also making a substantial donation to Groof's charity. He dodged a long and embarrassing trial. Next up, 500 U.S. soldiers from the Airborne Division are heading to Poland to join other American forces. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin stated the troops are part of the 3,000 ordered last week in response to the Ukraine situation. Lastly, Michael Riccotti was paralyzed in a motorbike accident, which completely severed his spinal cord. Unlike some other forms of paralysis, there is no therapy for him and absolutely no sensation whatsoever in his legs. An hour after receiving a new medical implant that emits electrical signals into his spinal cord, he was able to take some steps supported by a wheeled walking aid. That's all for Wildcat World News. Now here's McKenna Yutzi with Community News. Hello, Wildcats. This week for Community News, the Lake Trip Skating Center is now open Friday 6 to 9 and Saturday from 2 to 8.30. So out those skates and skate with some friends. That's all for Entertainment News. Back to you in the studio. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Lake Trip.